Um, we started with Neil Starkey's control system on our very first machine. And the machine that's out here has that. <coughs> it's a fantastic creation. Little box about this size. It's electro pneumatic hydraulic electric. And it does all the things it needs to do for start up, to set fuel flow for ignition, to warm it up, to accelerate it, to control the speed, to help synchronize it, and, and back down again under control. That was on the first machine, it was all the next machines, it was on the 28 pipeline pumpers, it worked like a charm. By uh, 1958 or thereabouts, well, I have to say a little bit later, Buck, Buck was 60, almost 65, so he must have been 1960. He was born 200, 2000. In came, uh, he got sort of set aside as a consultant. And we got some steam turbine guys, Hal Kelsey, and he brought a guy, Van Nest, and he brought a guy, Jack Baker, to take over. And that was a disaster. But in the control end of it, it really hit home. Um, here was this perfect little black box, gear driven on a machine, part of the deal. And it was as if this guy from Lynn, steam term guy, he only could use big valves, big links and big levers and big this stuff, cast iron stuff. I don't think he believed that electricity could come out the other end of a wire and do any good somehow. <coughs> and, and he had a control man with him. So they designed a machine full of links and levers and stuff on a two inch thick steel plate that was three by four feet with all the valves and all the stuff that we baptized large links and levers with lots of little leaks. I baptized that L, L and L with L and L, L's. They put that on the machine instead and uh, expensive Leaky, lousy, but um, so they they just put, we couldn't stop it. And to make a long story short, I finally went to Glenn Warren. He was my boss's boss's boss. I, mean, I talked to talk him out of it. I mean, uh, what good is this? Your customers they said, I, I don't want to buy your gas turbine. So they got the good old fuel regulator because they insisted. But I mean, it was just a disaster, and I, I was so disgusted. And so I went to Glenn and I said, uh, Hey, Glenn, Mr. Warren, I'd call him Glenn before, but this was very official. Mr. Warren, uh, you'll probably fire me for this. And he said, No, I won't. <laughs> and then I told him the story where we were, and and, uh, and to make a long story short, out of that, uh, we got rid of those guys that uh, Kelsey and, and after a while also this other guy from Lynn. And then they reorganized, and then they put me in as control manager, and then that's where. <coughs> We had gone from a good system to an antediluvian system, and then we're, now we're heading for electronics. And so that's where you might enjoy this. This is a, we created a Speedtronic control system. And uh, there was a guy, Lanza, in the uh, engineering lab. You might have, I don't know if he was Mario Lanza or uh, that was a, an artist, but anyhow, his name was Lanza, and Dan Johnson, and me, and we got together, and uh, we
we created the Speedtronic, well, an electronic control system that I baptized Speedtronic and made that a trademark. Now, the system itself is patented, and uh, it is now on all gas turbines, has, has been on all gas turbines since then. So we got rid of this garbage. And I, somebody told me that the control system on the steam turbines are also Speedtronic now. So I guess I had a contribution. And he, here is what the uh, uh, advertising guy was so proud of. And we had the conferences. We even had a Miss Speedtronic demonstrate the, at, the, at the conferences. And he was giving away boxes of matches. And so here's a picture of I don't know if you can see it on the picture there, but uh, here's, here's a picture of the control panel and with a little joke that says unmatched reliability. And uh, so we, find we, we did some good, I think, uh, getting rid of this <laughs> mammoth <coughs> leaky control system. In um, winding up, our discussion in our household, Glenn Warren, um, <clears throat> many of these people you've mentioned were household words oh, yeah. because my father hired them. And this is a book by Glenn Warren four years after he retired. He worked at MTI. Oh, yeah, I remember. He called and, you know, why can't we get this Sterling Engine project over the hump? And he, he was a wonderful man, wonderf wonderful man. Yeah. And he has a son, David, that's uh, been in the ministry. And uh, this was to my mother. Uh -huh with best wishes and fine memories of all Mr. Harnden did for me. Sincerely, Glenn Warren in 64. Now my father passed away in 54, but Glenn just w wrote this book after he retired. Oh, oh that's great, that's great.